Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Kingfish Simple. So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys the seven best Neon Tetra tank mates. So this is a video that I haven't seen on YouTube. Well, I haven't seen any really good ones on YouTube. So basically this is kind of like a bit of a weird video because normally I'm making videos and suggesting the Neon Tetra as a tank mate to the fish that I'm making the video about. So that's kind of a bit confusing. Basically, the Neon Tetra is not normally something that you're gonna add tank mates to. So today we're gonna kind of flip around the situation. We're gonna find a bunch of things that you guys can keep with your Neon Tetras in an aquarium. So the Neon Tetra is one of the most commonly kept fish in the entire aquarium hobby. These guys are so common, it's not even funny. They're a really cheap fish, they're super affordable, they look great, and they're pretty much available in any store across the globe. So make sure you stay around to the end of the video, and please consider giving this video a like because it really does help it out, and without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first fish is gonna be other Tetras. Now, this could be a little bit of a prank for you guys. Don't click away yet, because I swear there's gonna be other fish on this list, but I'm talking about other Tetras. So I'm talking about black skirt Tetras, black neon Tetras, glow light Tetras. There's a whole range of different Tetras that you guys can actually keep with your neon Tetras. So I'm guessing that if you have neon Tetras, you weren't looking to breed anything, and you probably wanna keep your aquarium as a display aquarium. Adding more Tetras is gonna be really, really cool for your aquarium, because first of all, you're gonna get a whole range of different styles of fish, but basically you're gonna have all of these fish that have the same kind of care and same kind of behavior. So you're not gonna have any fin nipping and things like that. They're gonna be really, really good and compatible together. And commonly, a lot of display aquariums actually have mixed tetras and stuff like that. So you can create really cool displays with neons and black skirt tetras and black neon tetras. And there's a whole range of stuff you guys can go and look into. I thought this would be a really cool idea for some of you guys out there trying to create some cool displays. Okay, so the second fish on my list is gonna be the dwarf neon rainbow. So these guys, I've been praising them for a long, 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 long time. These guys are one of my favorite fish at the moment. I've been breeding them like crazy. And the reason I'm suggesting these is for a few reasons. So first of all, they are a peaceful fish. They also have a little bit of a different shape to the neon, so they're gonna really contrast them pretty nicely. But the third thing is gonna be that they also have that beautiful neon iridescent display. So very similar to the neon tetras, not quite the same kind of line, but the very same kind of display. So they work really, really well in aquascapes and they also have very similar care conditions. So these guys, yes, they do like a bit of harder water, but the Neon Tetris can kind of bear with it. So I recommend keeping your aquarium at about 7.5 pH and they'll do really, really good. These guys both like warmer water, obviously, and they both take the same kind of foods and they're gonna be really good together because they're both very peaceful. If you guys wanna know more about the Dwarf Neon Rainbow, there's gonna be a care guide up here you guys can go through and watch. A really cool Australian native fish. They're also obviously from the New Guinea area. That stuff doesn't really matter. Just a really, really cool fish to add to your aquarium with neons in it. Okay, so the third fish on this list is gonna be the Harlequin Rasbora. So again, another really cool fish. These guys are almost like the Tetras, but they're a Rasbora, obviously. They have very, very similar care, but kind of a contrasting display. It's a little bit different. Very, very peaceful. These guys go really good with neon Tetras because they don't fin nip or anything like that. And another really cool thing is they're both very, very similar sizes, so that makes them really good compatibility-wise and also makes it really easy to feed them so you don't have to crush the flakes up in a special way. They're gonna pretty much take anything the neons are already getting fed in your aquarium. Again, these guys aren't gonna breed. They're not a live bear or anything, so you don't have to worry about overpopulating your tank. Again, these guys are a schooling fish. You don't really need too many of these guys. You can get about six of them and they'll go okay because they're not like that fussy. You can also look into other things like lamb chop rasboras. There's also chili rasboras and there's a whole world of different kinds of fish that you guys can try out. They're a really cool tank mate for the Neon Tetra and they're something that's gonna be really cool to add to another display aquarium. Okay, so number four on the list is gonna be a little bit of an interesting one. I've kind of added this for your benefit. This is gonna be something that's gonna be less of a tank mate and it's gonna be more of like, it's gonna help you in your aquarium, especially if you have only neons in there. So this is gonna be the Brissonose Pleco. So I might get a little bit of flack from a couple of you guys here, but please just give me a moment to try and explain my point of view on this. So I've added this here to help you guys with your algae in your aquarium. So this is stuff in your aquarium. It's like green dust algae and it pretty much grows on all kinds of the surfaces of things on your aquarium. So it's that green kind of like sludge that grows over time. Don't be mistaken. It's not like black beard algae or staghorn algae or any that kind of stuff. It's very different, but Bristlenose Plecos absolutely love to eat it. So I keep Bristlenose Plecos in all of my aquariums and they do a really good job of making sure the glass is clean. So as you guys can see, 
I mean, all of the aquariums behind me uh, all have really good glass and really clean glass, and that's because the Bristol Nose Placos do a great job of cleaning them. So I recommend, if you've got like a 10 gallon tank, I recommend only keeping one Bristol Nose Placo. You don't need to keep schools of them or anything like that. They don't do any of that kind of stuff. They do create quite a bit of waste, so you might have to up your water changes a bit if you add them. But the thing I like is they're kind of a weird style of centerpiece fish. I wouldn't call them a centerpiece fish, but I've definitely noticed that when I have like little kids and people come to my house, they always kind of point at the sucker fish. Now, don't let them call it a sucker fish, it's a pleco, but they always point at it and they always like seem to be interested in it. So, just a really cool idea for you guys if you're looking for something to kind of mitigate the algae. They are not a cleaning fish. Don't be mistaken, they're not gonna clean the tank for you. They just make sure that some of the algae stays down. They don't eat every style of algae, but they're gonna serve a purpose in your aquarium. Okay, so number five on my list is gonna be the cherry shrimp. So this isn't a fish. This is gonna be a little tiny critter that you guys can add to your aquarium, and they make really awesome tank mates for neon tetra aquariums, and there's a few reasons why. So these guys are tiny little neocaridina shrimp. That's what they're called. So I recommend keeping the red style. Don't get into any of the expensive blue release and stuff like that. You don't need to keep that. Just get the red ones. They're really cool. They're super easy to take care of. And basically what these guys are, they're just little tiny shrimp. They sift along the bottom of your aquarium. There's gonna be a video up here you guys can go and watch. And these guys are super sick. So basically they eat a lot of the algae that I was talking about in the aquarium. So they don't really clean the aquarium the same as the bristlenose do, but they do a really good job of keeping some of that algae down. These guys will go through and they'll eat a lot of the waste that falls to the bottom of the aquarium. They don't eat poop and stuff like that. They're not cleaners again. There's no cleaning fish. Don't be looking for any of that kind of stuff. These guys will eat like the old food that falls to the bottom of the aquarium. And they're one of my favorite tank mates because the neon tetras have very small mouths so they can't fit any of these guys in their mouths. So cherry shrimp will breed, they breed like crazy. So I recommend getting like 10 of these guys. They're super cheap, they're gonna cost like under a dollar each. The females will start to get buried so they'll have little yellow eggs underneath their abdomens and it's gonna be really, really cool. So I absolutely love them. They go really good in planted aquariums. And I absolutely love how the red contrasts the red on the neon tetras because these guys are completely red and they are just super cool. So a really cool tank, mate. They're not gonna attack any neon tetras or anything like that. And they're gonna be one of the coolest things to add if you guys are looking for something that's a little bit more different. Okay, so at number six on my list of the best tank mates for neon tetras is gonna be the Cooley Loach. So this is a bit of an oddball fish. This is a bit of like something, if you wanna add a little bit of taste and like something that's gonna be a bit random to your aquarium and more of an outsider style of tank mate for your neon tetra tank, this is gonna be a really cool pick. So these guys are very, very small. They stay about three to five inches, which is about 10 centimeters if you're an Aussie I'd recommend keeping about three of these guys in like a 20 gallon aquarium with your neon tetras in there they're like kind of like a snaky kind of fish they're a very nocturnal fish so I like to refer to them as more like an owl so basically what's gonna happen is during the day they're gonna hide like in the driftwood and all that kind of stuff and then at night basically they're gonna come out and they're gonna look for little pieces of food and stuff like that and it's really really cool if you actually get to see these guys normally when you go to the pet store they're gonna like lift up a log and try and catch them out for you and you get to see them that way I recommend keeping three of them they like to be in little groups and they're gonna all huddle together. They like to be in the same kind of water parameters as the Neon Tetris, so they like softer water. They don't like harder water, they don't like pouches of over seven, I recommend keeping them under that. So the Neon Tetris will do really, really well in that same environment. These guys are more like on the intermediate spectrum of aquarium keeping, so if you guys are a beginner, kind of stay away from these until you've made a few more little tiny stupid mistakes and then you'll be able to kind of move on to these guys. They are really, really cool, these guys. Absolutely love them. It's really important to note that they do like sand because they're gonna go through and sift through and stuff like that. So keep either sand in your aquarium or some really, really fine gravel. Don't keep very hard, coarse gravel because otherwise you'll run into a world of issues with these guys. They're not gonna like it at all. Definitely recommend adding driftwood and plants to your aquarium before you add these guys. They're gonna absolutely love hiding in driftwood and all those little rocks and crevices that they can find. So it's really important to add them because it's gonna make them feel like they're at home. And like I said before, these guys are nocturnal, so you're not gonna see them very much. That kind of makes them really, really cool because it's gonna be a little bit exciting when you finally do see these guys come out. This is gonna be one of the cooler things on the list to add to your aquarium. And then my number one tank mate for the Neon Tetra is gonna be the Corydoris. So these guys are super, super good for Neon Tetra tanks and that's for a few reasons. So these guys stay small, they're a little tiny catfish. So they're very similar to the Cooley Loach in the same kind of like care. They don't really need like specific water parameters. They're very easy to take care of and they're definitely a beginner fish. But they do need sand along the bottom of the aquarium because these guys will sift through it and they're gonna look for little pieces of food that they can find and all that kind of stuff. So if you add really coarse gravel, they're gonna hurt their barbels, which are on the front of their face. That's not gonna be good news for you guys. So keep them in very similar conditions to the Cooley Loach. They don't need much hiding spaces. Obviously, these guys are very, very easy to take care of. And basically, I really like them because they're a schooling fish. So you can add like a couple of these 
these guys to your aquarium, they're gonna stick together and go through the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see, there's like a little dot there. That's a Koridori. So these guys are super cool, they come around. They add that little bottom dwelling aspect. So the Neon Tetris is more like a mid to high dwelling fish and they'll stay up in that area and these guys will stay down the bottom and they're not gonna really talk to each other. They're just gonna be like neighbors to each other and they really do look cool. So you can get a whole range of different kinds of Koridoris. They're one of the best fish in the entire aquarium hobby. That's for sure, a lot of people keep them and a lot of people have fun keeping them. So those are the seven best tank mates to keep with your Neon Tetris and thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next one.